This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Prime. In association with Micromax. Nothing like anything. On the show, Kabir holds a fire extinguisher. Soumya goes to the little lady's room. Kabir makes loops like a boss. Soumya pulls down a curtain. Let's go! Let's go! Once I'm done with the show today, I'm going home to watch Andaz Apna Apna, my favorite movie on my home theater system. You don't own a home theater system. Ah! I was some nightmare. After the shoot, I'm going back home watching my favorite movie Andaz Apna Apna on my home theater system for sure. What? You don't have a home theater system. Have I seen this somewhere? Ignore Kabi. Welcome to Hadu. This is the show where we are always going to be there for you when you're in doubt. Today we are tackling a very important how to how to set up a nifty home theater system. Apparently, I don't have one, so let's get this rolling. Before you even begin thinking about putting a home theater system, there are a bunch of questions that you need to ask yourself. The answers to these questions are important because they will lead you to the answers like or the questions. Am I confused? No, Just you the are questions confused. like what kind of system you actually need. Yeah. Secondly, what is the optimum use of that system? I said, you know, sir, you don't use it. 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 So the first question you need to ask: How big is your room actually? We got an inch tape and got going. The dimensions of the room were roughly 11.5 by 13 feet. So stay there, don't move. I think there's one more feet. No, stay there. Size of the room helps decide if the TV will be a 21, 32, or 40 inch, and so on. Eyeballs should be at least six to eight feet away from the screen. Note that a smallish room doesn't need too many speakers. Next question: What is the kind of furniture you have in your room? The room had bare minimum furniture. That was a good thing. The lesser the clutter, the better the sound. Third question: Do you have furniture specific to support your home theater system? Yes, there is furniture built for home theaters. They come in all shapes and sizes, the right consoles, tables, sofas. They not only enhance the viewing experience but keeps the equipment intact. This is our table. Okay. This is what we have. Fourth question. Fourth question. Have you sound tested your roof? This is actually an important one. Test the room by clapping. If you hear an echo, that's bad news. So there is no reflection. There is no dead room. Yep. Moving on, the next question: What kind of flooring do you have in the room? Hard flooring. If the flooring, flooring is hard, as it is in this room, we so suggest throw like around a few thick carpets. They not only help absorb sounds but will cut down reflecting light. A quick note on curtains: Choose dark, thick curtains for better viewing experience. And the last question is: How much money do you have in your bank account? So the kind of keeping all these things in mind, we decided we need a 2.1 system for this particular. Room. Yeah. What is that? Where we're going to get it? You'll just know in a minute where. As you can see, this is a 2.1 speaker system. Am I And right as so? you can see, it is not. Talking about 2.1 speaker system to explain it, Somya, please speak because she says that I don't let her speak. Before please. I start, that joke was really not my idea. Now, getting back to a 2.1 system, which basically means two speakers and one subwoofer. Here you can see speaker one. This is speaker two, and there is a subwoofer down here. If you're getting confused because there are so many speakers, Kabir, why are there so many? Because there are different models, dude. Do the math. If 2.1 is two speakers, one subwoofer. 5.1 is five speakers. One subwoofer. Genius. I know. Pick up our system and let's start. Heavy. This is this is heavy stuff. It's pretty heavy. 32 kgs. Right here, Kabir. One second. Careful. Literature. The literature is actually a handy little thing, and it is a good idea to read it well. But before I could do that, Kabir turned into a child who had just been handed candy. All boxes were out, opened, and everywhere. More gamers. What can I say? I just could not help myself, though it was not the ideal way, but it was fun. 
and that's equally important so if you have people like him around always have the manual around do not underestimate the power of this literature over here okay kabir get the sabu for okay okay put the sabu for here with the manual in my hand i put kabir to work well his energies had to be redirected we started with setting up the console first there were cables many many cables and it took us a while to get a hold of it but eventually we did Finally everything was in place we were tired for sure the process of setting up took us about 3 hours in more complicated systems which involve five speakers or more we recommend you take the help of technicians most leading companies do send one for setups everything is in its right place the speakers the subwoofer the console and why does it need to be in a certain position or place kabir will explain first of all the ideal situation is that you need to keep the speakers 3 feet away towards the left 3 feet away towards the right equidistant from the television you need to drill a hole in this freshly painted wall but we haven't done that because it is freshly painted wall and yes uh, you'll be sitting somewhere uh, it should be at the level of your ears yes. that's why we should drill the freshly painted wall but we haven't done woofer the Sub woofer, woofer yes yeah. cannot be kept in a corner that's the only don't with it uh because the sound gets muddled or it will get too heavy and your experience the base, will go flat mm, the both subwoofers uh, they have this particular technology they call it acoustic mass technology acoustic mass technology sorry hard to pronounce but uh, you can keep the subwoofer anywhere you want in the room but with a you know with low a budget home or a normal home theater system where you don't have that kind of keep subwoofer keep it in the center dude keep it in the center if you keep your subwoofer in the center don't let anything block the sound don't keep a table in front of it don't keep a chair in front of it these this is not the ideal situation so here's a don't the bed is right here if we kept the subwoofer here it would have been a problem your sound experience would yeah we should get our blue ray player there in connect it and then take the test drive for a test, test drive. drive test drive yeah we are not talking because this is just wow Definitely nice. So, man, do you know what's Murphy's law? Yes, anything that has to go wrong will go wrong. Pretty much defines Imran Khan's acting career. So mean, yeah. <laughs> I actually like Imran Khan. Actually, the same thing is applicable to the uh, batteries of our gadgets and handheld devices. If the battery is low, it will go lower. Are you hinting to our next how-to, which is how to increase battery life of handheld gadgets? Exactly. First up, phones. Now, last time a user sent us some very neat tricks on how to increase the battery life of our phone, which included stuff like turn off your Bluetooth, turn off your Wi-Fi, and if your phone is 3G enabled, you don't need the 3G. Turn it off. Then our team of very enabled researchers came up with more cool stuff, like when you don't need the vibrate mode of your phone on, switch it off. Turn down the brightness of your screen. And lastly, charge that phone on in-flight mode. Better yet, switch off the phone, charge the phone once it's on 100%, switch it back on. तुम बड़ी इंटेलिजेंट हो सामने, है ना? Next gadgets. MP3 players. See if you don't own a MP3 player, we suggest go ahead and buy one which has got a USB flash memory instead of the hard drive driven uh, like this one. It's pretty expensive also because the hard drive ones they juice out the battery quickly. And the second uh, suggestion that we have for MP3 players is that use the MP3 player without the backlight and keep the equalizer flat because the bass comes at a price. Laptops. Switch those laptops to the power saving mode. It saves power from the processor, the hard drive, and the screen. Dim those screens. Do not use Wi-Fi and Bluetooth when you don't need it. And lastly. Don't use USB or optical hard drives. They drain a lot of power from your laptop. Use it when necessary, but stick to the hard drive of your laptop. Cameras. 
Don't use the autofocus or the auto flash on the cameras. Use the viewfinder instead of the LCD screen. The small one is the viewfinder, the big one is the LCD screen. The small you get the point. Those things drain the battery of this thing. I don't actually own this, so I'm gonna throw this because it costs a lot. No, I'm not I own it! I own it! <laughs> I'm throw it. Now that you know how to increase the battery life of your handheld devices, go put that phone on charge. Switch it off, put that phone on charge, no distractions, we'll be back in a bit. And check those WhatsApp messages that your girlfriend just sent or else she'll be angry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.